My name is Firefighter Nienhuis. We're at Plainfield Station 3 today, and this is what's on Platform 3. So on this side of the truck, we have a whole bunch of cabinets. So think of a fire truck as one giant toolbox that we bring to a fire. So we have tools, we've got ladders, we've got more hose on here. Anything we would need on a scene, it's all brought to us on these trucks. In this cabinet, we've got a bunch of lighting so we can set up around our fire scenes so we're aware of hazards. Um, we have good visibility on what we're working with. So we have some thermal imaging cameras in here as well. And on these cameras, this is what we can point at the fire and we can see uh, kind of like uh, seeing in the dark. Uh, we can see where heat signatures are, uh, we can see victims on here, we can see you know, hot spots, things we couldn't see with our own eyes. Then we also have uh, a bunch of extra fittings. Maybe we need to add a different size hose to an existing hose to lengthen it. Um, and then more couplings, uh, just this stuff that our equipment operator would use uh, in case we need to shuffle some things around. So in this cabinet, we have extra air packs. So we get people on scene who might come in a different vehicle that doesn't have air packs. So these are our SCBAs. These give us about 35 minutes of breathing air in a fire. So we put these on our back. And then we have our mask that this hooks up to and gives us full clean air to breathe. Down here in the wheel wells, we have extra storage for bottles as well. So we can quickly and easily swap them back into the backpack here. We've got life jackets. So this truck, if it responds to a water rescue emergency, all of our personnel while we're on scene have to wear life jackets. We have a throw rope, so we can grab this line here, we can throw this bag to a victim in the water, and then we just have some general picks up here uh, if we need to pry into a floor or maybe concrete. 